So this is the World War II Memorial, which is just recently built. It's kind of a little mini coliseum with these columns, and each one is named after a different state. And here at the World War II Memorial, Honor Flight, which is a group named after a movie, named after a event. The event is, <laughs> the event is, uh, this is the honor flight where they fly people who are World War II veterans who are about to pass away in some cases to come see the memorial. And then there was a movie about it done by a guy named Dan Hayes who uh, was a video editor intern at, uh, at Reason Magazine. We did it with some other people, all of those names I don't know. And now there are these groups that come and uh, visit the memorial and visit when the uh, veterans are coming to, to come see it. And they help them in the wheelchairs and greet the fellow and stuff. So my friend Daniel Sturgis organizes this in DC. Yeah. 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 At the Reagan National Airport and also in uh, also here at the actual memorial. And she's organizing this today. A whole batch of people over there will go back. But here's the actual memorial. Kitchen's president children playing in the middle of it. For some reason there's something in construction over there, which seems kind of dumb for this time of year. Here's the District of Columbia. They don't seem to be in any order. Uh, although they did get in Guam and all this mosque, but they got in every territory that sent any people to war, which is probably good. Out the Pacific! It's funny because the way this is divided, the Pacific is on the south and the Atlantic column is on the north. I would have think instead it would be east and west, but it doesn't really matter, I guess. There's the Lincoln Memorial in the background. I'm not sure. The Philippines made it in. I was a lot of people in the American military. And the same other version I always made it in Puerto Rico.
good thing about this exhibit is the, uh, this monument is that the uh, water feature sounds drowned out most of the conversation of other people. So you don't actually have to hear. There aren't a lot of people on cell phones here, which is also nice, but you don't actually have to hear everybody else talking that much because they're sort of drowned out. Oh, well, there's Tennessee. Except for my fellow Tennesseans coming to visit. Tennessee is between Louisiana and Vermont. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Also near Mississippi, North Carolina, and Virginia. And South Carolina makes a little more sense. Tennessee is in the, on the northern side. It's on the northwest side of the circle. Which, of course, in a way makes no sense. Since Tennessee is in the southeast of the country. But it's on the northwest side of the circle. They may have actually had some theory. There's the Washington Monument. I don't know if they got captured anything before. Behind scaffolding, it's still being repaired from an earthquake from two years ago when it sort of cracked near the top and became too dangerous to be inside. There are teeny children wonder if they can jump in. You can see the Smithsonian Castle. In the distance. And I'm videoing, so I'm not going to walk into this camera frame, but that means that he didn't have to do much. Oh, this is funny. So, here in one shot, we have the Washington Monument, the Capitol Dome, and the water fountain at the World War II Memorial. So, I better get back for a possible take two of the Honor Flight bus riders, not flyer today, getting off their bus because the bus was supposed to arrive in a minute or so. Sorry. Okay, I can't resist this. There's an Indian lady in the Osari at the World War II Memorial. Good girl. Okay, this is an interesting detail. This is metal sculpture fashion to look like, nautical ropes, at least I think that's what it's fashion to look like. And what's interesting about that is, to me, is that I've been at a Holocaust memorial. I've been at a Holocaust memorial in France. And there was metal, metal sculpture made to look like barbed wire on the outside of the concentration camp. So, I don't know if there's some kind of contrast there about how nations think about kind of the same set of events. Anyway, here we are back with our honor flag, flags peeps. They're the ones carrying flags and then the yellow t shirts that say honor flag. For those of you that are waiting for the honor flight, we're going to memorial now, so they're about 10 minutes away. And the bus is still 10 minutes away. <laughs> the honor flight bus. I'm going to have all my stuff of an honor flight water.